Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to TechFlow Quick Tips. We've got a really, really cool one for you today. And to explain it, I want you to come over here and take a look at something on my screen. Okay, so we did a video here a while back on TechFlow and it did quite well and it was, well, discussing running HDMI through your home's wiring with the use of power line adapters. Now we're taking it a step up and we want to get HDMI running over Wi-Fi, but not just HDMI, we want to get 4K running over Wi-Fi. But you see, here's the thing. I've gone ahead and typed in wireless 4K HDMI into Amazon and there's absolutely nothing that comes up. I mean, there's all of these sort of 1080p senders and Chromecast looking things and more sort of wireless 1080p HDMI senders, but none of these are saying 4K. Now, funnily enough, I actually came across this on a website called Banggood and I bit the bullet and I ordered it and it's arrived, it, it, it's right here. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later. But first, we'll take a scroll down on this webpage and see what it's actually saying here. So it's saying you're gonna get a transmitter, a receiver, the power adapters, and this is a 4K wireless HDMI transmission kit. Now, as you guys can imagine, it's hard enough to run 1080p wirelessly, never mind 4K due to bandwidth limitations. I mean, I think 4K is around 50 to 100 megabits per second. So you need a really beefy backhaul link to carry the data. Now here they're saying it's actually using a 60 gigahertz millimeter wave band, which is, uh, yeah, that's for big amounts of data, big, big amounts of data. This is what like, telephone companies would use for backhauls to their masts, 60 gigahertz. It says right here, 30 meters wireless transmission distance and it's 4K at 30 hertz, 30 refreshes per second. So like I said, I went ahead, I bit the bullet and it's here. <laughs> So it's taken two weeks for this thing to arrive, I think from the EU, and right off the get-go on the box, I'm already really skeptical, just about as skeptical as I was online, because it says, stream HD 1080p on the front. It doesn't say 4K, and then if you turn this thing over on the actual specifications on the back, right here it says uh, up to 1080p at 60 hertz, whereas online we were promised 4K at 30 hertz. So if this thing just doesn't work at 4K, then complete myth busted. So let's get straight into the box here and just see what's going, hey, it says 4K on these little boxes. Okay, 4K receiver and 4K transmitter. This is quite interesting, so what are these? It's really light, there's nothing, there's no way this is gonna work. Okay, we've got an HDMI on the back and then a five volt DC in for power. So these things are actually powered by USB. God, this isn't promising whatsoever. Okay, so one of these is our receiver and one of them is the transmitter. We'll set those off to one side and see what else we get in the box. We have a quick start manual and some what look like American power cables, which we can't use because we are in the UK. But luckily enough, it's just micro USB and it's powered by USB. So that is it, I think. So they're not even instructions for this model. It's not even instructions for this model. If you take a look here, that is the transmitter and that's the receiver. And that's just not the transmitter that we've got here whatsoever. Um, okay, this is this is really quite interesting. Let's see if we can let's see if we can send a 4K signal with this, and then we'll see how far we can send that 4K signal if we can actually send it. You guys silly! I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> okay, so aesthetically, these things are just essentially a little black box. The only button on them that I can see is a little pin in the back that says pair, but I will assume these things are prepared. So I've plugged in the micro USB, which is going into uh, a plethora of charges down here. And we now have, well, we have a blue light in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So now if I come up here and we take an HDMI cable and we plug this into the TV. Now, the reason why this is baffling, like I mentioned earlier, is just because of how much bandwidth you're gonna actually need to send 4K. Like 4K is big, it's a lot of pixels, you need a lot of data. So that is why, if these things are actually real, they'll be using that 60 gigahertz band, not 2.4 or 5, 60 gigahertz, which is also why you're getting a bit less range. What did they say, like 30 meters or something? But we'll put that to the test a little bit later. Okay, so that is all plugged in. Power and HDMI. 
Okay, so if we go on, yeah, the TV should have picked up here HDMI 3. So obviously it's not going to display anything because we haven't set the transmitter up yet. So there we go, black screen, but at least the TV has detected it. We have a flashing light inside of here, which probably means this isn't connected to the transmitter. Okay, so just to simply test this, I've got a MacBook Pro 16 here and a Nucleum from Kingston, which is gonna give me HDMI out of this laptop. So if I go ahead and plug that into one of the available USB-C ports, and then over here all set up, essentially we've got our power micro USB for the transmitter, our 4K transmitter. So we'll plug that in there, and then we've got the HDMI. We'll go ahead and uh, plug that in too. And then just for sanity's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and point this over to the other one because if this actually works i'm just going to be a little bit blown away nothing's oh okay interesting that looks like 1080p to me though it's on the tv it's on the tv okay it's come on the tv this is actually mental oh what i'm going to do is quickly open system preferences click on displays here and then click on scaled okay yeah so it's currently running at 1080p which is what i thought would be the case so i've been scammed unless if I click the 4K option, it works, okay? Three, two, one. 4960 by 2180, is it gonna do it? Oh, no. Damn. Damn, I've actually been scammed. Okay, so just by on the off chance this is gonna work, I'm gonna test it, but I knew right from the get-go that I thought this was just a complete scam. I'm gonna try 3840 by 2160, because we're currently at uh, 4096 by 2160. So here we go. Let's see if this makes any difference. Probably not. Um... Huh, hang on. <gasps> no way! Okay, it's on. No, it's on. Is that actually 1080p? Hang on. Yeah, look. 3840 by 2160 and it's working. But is it smooth? Okay, we've got some pixelation now. I'm literally stood in the middle of this link and it's and we're getting pixelation on the screen because I've, I've, I've gone in and crossed the bridge of this wireless bridge. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, well first off, I'm just happy that we have a 4K image going over this thing. I thought I'd been scammed. Let's try a YouTube, let's just try a 4K YouTube test uh, or something along those lines just to see what this is gonna look like on the TV and see if it also carries audio as well. Whoa. Okay, okay, yeah, that's definitely 4K. That is definitely 4K. However, we've got a little bit of stuttering and juddering coming on. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely 4K. Like, look at the, this is a big screen, by the way, guys. I know it's, it's hard to sort of portray these things on a camera, especially on YouTube, but th this is definitely 4K right here going over this bridge. So I'm just actually happy the fact that this, this is working, and it's actually working well. Like, this is 30 FPS, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any sort of glitches or anything to note at the moment. Everything looks sharp. It looks as if I'm plugged into it via an HDMI cable, to be perfectly honest with you. However, I think if I was to step in between the bridge, we are gonna start to then get... Yeah, look, you see it freezing then. It's frozen, 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 totally gone. Oh no, we're back. <laughs> this is amazing. So this is a perfect example of this 60 gigahertz link working or not really working. I mean, when you've got clear line of sight between these two things, and bear in mind they are meters apart, and when I step in the, in the middle of them, we get sort of whatever the hell this is, not watchable. But if you're trying to, let's say, get a picture from down here to up here, and you don't want to run cables through your wall, and they could be a meter apart and still sort of see each other, this is gonna work. I think we need to do a little bit more testing with this though. Okay, the sound works. <laughs> <laughs> so on a serious note, this is actually kind of cool. I've just thought of this now. Because these boxes are actually powered by micro USB, I'm now powering this box off the built-in USB port at the back of this TV. So it's just sort of sitting there and the other box I've actually got in this table. So it's having to, although it's a short distance, travel through this solid piece of wood here, but the performance is absolutely fine. So what I'm saying still holds. If you had devices down here, like a set-top box, and you wanted to get a 4K signal up to the TV, but you didn't want to chase cables through the wall, this is a possible viable solution. And also, as we demonstrated, it's also carrying sound, and it sounds really, really good.
I mean, this is working fine, as you can see, and if I give this a little bit of volume. So let's try and use this in practice. We've got a Skybox up here. This is our set-top box here in the UK. It can output a 4K signal, so I've plugged HDMI cable into it and it's plugged into the 4K transmitter. Now our dilemma is that the 4K TV is downstairs, so we're going to try and transmit 4K through one floor of a house. I don't think this is going to work though. So unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna work. I've left it trying to connect for about two minutes and yeah, nothing. I remember that this light, this blue light that seems to be sort of inside of this unit right here was solid when the two devices were connected. It's now flashing, so I think due to the 60 gigahertz band and all of the bandwidth that it's trying to push to these devices and the fact that they are only powered by USB, it's just not going to cut it to go through one floor in this house, which is a shame. However, I'm still happy that these things do actually work and they are transmitting a 4K signal. I've got one more test that I want to try to see if these things are any good. Okay, so one of the main things that I do really like about this is the fact that it is running off USB. So you can power it, you can have this, the receiver behind the USB, like I said earlier, running off the TV's USB port, if it has one. Okay, so the Skybox is essentially in this room right here. There's a plasterboard wall between us and the Skybox. So now we're not going through the floor, we're just going through a plasterboard wall just to test this, to see if we're gonna get signal or not. So, power in, micro USB into the back, and then HDMI into the TV. Let's see if we can push a 4K signal through this wall. Flashing light, it should go solid. It's gone solid. Sick, it works. Okay, it works through a plasterboard wall. And that quality is amazing. Okay, so this comes the part of the video where I need to tell you if I recommend this product and I'll put the links down in the description. But these are my thoughts and I've been watching this on here for the last sort of 30 to 40 minutes and it seems to be absolutely fine until, now watch this, if I stand in the way of the transmission, there you go, it's frozen, it's jittery. What I have found is that if the boxes are left still and not touched, you get a solid signal. But as soon as something moves, in the way, crack, 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 it starts to sort of fizzle out a bit. So these things are quite expensive, like I said. They definitely do work, I will say that. If you want to get a 4K HDMI signal, maybe through one plasterboard wall, you'll not be able to go any further than that. These things, they'll do the job for you. But if you wanted to go further, unfortunately, like I said earlier, the technology just isn't there. 4K needs such a high bandwidth that we're having to not move from 2.4 to 5, but actually go all the way to 60 gigahertz. Squarespace is a website that you guys can go to right now to create your own website. And Squarespace is absolutely awesome for the following reasons. Squarespace is absolutely great because essentially what you do is you go on there and there's thousands of templates for you to choose from. So you pick one of these templates and then you can go ahead and add your own custom text, your own images, make it yours, make it count. Now once you've gone ahead and designed your website and it's looking as you want with Squarespace's really easy tools and templates, what you need to do is sort out a domain. And a domain is something like www.techflow.co.uk. Squarespace also take out some of the guesswork in the search engine optimization, so it means you'll get found in search by more people more often, essentially, without doing any work. You guys can head to squarespace.com to start your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can get 10% off your first purchase with code TECHFLOW. And as always, I'll put all those links down there in the description. Thanks, Squarespace, for helping make today's video possible. But I'll put all those links down in the description. There you go, that's the 4K Wi-Fi myth busted at the end of 2019. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and this has been the 4K Wi-Fi kit. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.